And here we are, week four. To prepare her skin for the RP peel next week, Jennifer is alternating the reticin and the super bright in the evening to exfoliate her skin and the contraderm during her morning routine to, to soothe it down. She'll continue until the night before the treatment next week. Today, I'm using the Light Stim LED again before the DMK enzyme therapy mask to enhance the optimal skin function by working the internal systems, increasing circulation, oxygenation, and lymphatic drainage. Today, I want to talk a little about hyperpigmentation. Melanin is responsible for determining skin, hair, and eye color. Hyperpigmentation in skin, those uneven brown spots, are caused by an increase in the melanin produced by the melanocytes located in the bottom layer of the epidermis. Passive hyperpigmentation can be caused by hormonal influxes such as pregnancy, melasma, certain diseases like Addison's disease, and drugs such as antibiotics. Inflammatory hyperpigmentation occurs as a result of the activation of our skin's natural defenses. Melanin moves up from the lower levels of the skin to defend against the trauma caused by the sun exposure or in injury like improper waxing. Inflammatory hyperpigmentation, such as I'm addressing with Jennifer, is the majority of hyperpigmentation that we see and is the result of sun exposure. The purpose of melanin in this case is to act as a filter protecting the skin from the sun's harmful rays, which penetrate deep into the skin, damaging more than just the surface of the skin. Therefore, all of the treatments that I'm using in this case study are addressing more than the skin's surface. These treatments and her home care products involve regulating the natural processes of the skin and stimulating the skin cells to balance the melanocyte activity and normalize the secretion of melanin. And with that, I'll see you next week when we begin the RPPL.